Carrie Silverstock and we're here again with Girls with Dreams TV and today we're talking about college. So we're going to talk about not only things that you can do um, to get ready to make sure that you get into the college you want to, but also some financial and practical tips um, to help you save money. So do you want to start since you're a junior yeah. and you can kind of talk about things that you might want to think about before your senior year? Right. Um, I would say take the ACT as many times as you can. Um, as a junior, you get the opportunity to take them, so I would take them as a junior so that you have more opportunities to, like, better your score, and, um, even take AP classes, because they're a lot cheaper in high school than they will be in college, so that'll save you some money there, um, and the teachers are good, it's, I mean, college is, college classes are going to be harder than high school classes anyways, so I recommend taking the AP classes, and, um, that kind of thing. And what some girls might not realize that are listening to this is that the AP classes, what she's talking about, the advanced placement classes, if you do well enough, you can actually um, get college credit. Like your college will say, well, you don't have to take that particular class now. So that's how you're saving money. And um, I forgot my other thing I was going to share, but uh, we'll, go <laughs> we'll go on to Stevie because I know you had some other great tips too. Yeah, I was just going to say to um – start like I wish when I was a junior I would have started looking into colleges because now I don't have time like I want to focus on my senior year I want to have fun but I don't want to be worrying about college so if you would like start filling up out applications to places that you wanted to as a junior or doing um, college visits like those are always good so you know what college you want to go to and start making decisions of where you want to go and visiting places that's really important and for this time where we're all trying to save money, um, you know, on every level, if you start researching your sophomore, even junior year about what kind of scholarships are out there, you'll know if there's different requirements or things that you might need to do. Or even classes to take. Right. That kind of thing. I know um, to get, like, if you're going to major in certain things, you need to take certain things in high school, like Spanish or science classes, that kind of thing. So if you look ahead, you can take those things in high school instead of having to pay money and take them to college. Make sure you're applying for scholarships too early in the year because a lot of the times they end like in December and you won't get the opportunity to save money on a scholarship that you, you could have gotten. And finally, if you're, you know, kind of lost or not sure how to deal with all this, um, you know, go to your guidance counselor. Hopefully you have a really good guidance program in your school, but some schools don't. Um, and so if you don't have that go-to person, there's a lot of resources online. Or you may even find that favorite teacher that you can ask and you know ask them for tips and guidance. So this is a really big topic. Um, you'll have to check out more on our website and check back to Girls with Dreams TV for more on college tips.